Donald Trump will win Indiana. Trump beats Biden in Indiana, wins its 11, 11 electoral votes, the first projection of the night. It's too early to call in these states right now. Too early to call in Georgia, a key battle Trump battleground state with 16 electoral votes. Too early to call there in Virginia. Too early to call there, 13 electoral votes at stake in Virginia. Also, too early to call right now in South Carolina, nine electoral votes uh, in South Carolina. Too early to call in Kentucky, eight electoral votes there. Too early to call in Vermont, three electoral votes right there. All right, let's take a look at uh, where the Electoral College map stands right now. Uh, Donald Trump has 11 right now. Biden has zero. Remember, you need 270. 270 to win this race for the projection of the night. CNN projects that uh, Joe Biden will win the state of Vermont. He beats uh, Trump in Vermont. Three electoral votes. So let's take a look at the map where it stands right now in the race of 270. Trump has 11. He won Indiana. Biden has three. He won Vermont. 270 once again needed to win the presidency. We're only moments away from the biggest wave. Uh, we got some CNN projections right now. Let's start in Massachusetts. CNN projects Joe Biden will win the state of Massachusetts, will win its 11 electoral votes. CNN projects Joe Biden will win the state of Maryland and win its 10 electoral votes. Another win for Biden in Maryland. Joe Biden will win his home state of Delaware with three electoral votes, a win in Delaware for Biden. And Joe Biden will win the District of Columbia, which has three electoral votes as well. Uh, Trump. Uh, we have a projection for Trump right now as well. Uh, Oklahoma, CNN projects that uh, Donald Trump will win the state of Oklahoma with seven electoral votes. Uh, that, that goes to Trump. Uh, right now, we cannot make projections in these states. Take a look. Alabama, Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, and New Hampshire. Uh, also, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Tennessee. Uh, we cannot make projections in those states. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, the uh, electoral college count as it stands right now. Biden has 30 electoral ele 30 electoral college uh, uh, votes. Trump has 18. Remember, 270 needed to win the presidency. CNN projects uh, that President Trump will win the state of Kentucky. He'll win Kentucky with its eight electoral votes. Uh, that's a win for Trump in Kentucky over Biden. This is where it stands right now. On the race to 270, Biden has 30, Trump has 26, once again, 270 needed to win the presidency. We have another projection right now, CNN projects, President Trump will win the state of Tennessee, will win Tennessee's 11 electoral votes, a win for Trump in Tennessee. Here's where the race to 270 electoral votes stands right now. Trump is now on top, he has 37 electoral votes, Biden has 30 electoral votes, remember once again, 270 needed to win the White House. Let's get uh, we have a projection right now. CNN projects that Joe Biden will win the state of New York and win its 29 electoral votes. Biden beats Trump in New York State. Uh, we cannot make projections at this hour in these states. Arizona, Colorado, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Mexico, North Dakota, South Dakota, Texas, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. Take a look at the Electoral College map where it stands right now with Biden winning New York State. Biden is now ahead. He has 59 electoral votes to Trump's 42 electoral votes. You need 270 to be... I right, take a look at this. CNN now projects that Joe Biden will win the state of Connecticut. He beats Trump in Connecticut. He wins Connecticut seven electoral votes. Trump, on the other hand, wins South Dakota. He beats Biden in South Dakota, three electoral votes. In South Dakota, Trump is the winner there. Let's take a look at the Electoral College map, where it stands right now. Biden has 80 electo Electoral College votes. Trump has 51. You need 270 to be elected president of the United States. Uh, let's uh, go back to John King. John, I'm really anxious to take a look at Georgia right now. See where things are. Two more projections are right now. CNN now projects that uh, Joe Biden will win the state of New Jersey, will win its 14 electoral votes. Biden beats Trump in New Jersey. Uh, we uh, have a projection in Arkansas. President Trump beats Biden in Arkansas. Uh, he will win Arkansas six electoral votes. Trump wins in Arkansas. Let's take a look at the Electoral College map where things stand right now. Biden is still ahead. He has 73 electoral votes as of right now. Trump has 48. 
Remember, you need 270 needed to win the presidency, 73 to 48 are right now. The electoral map is projections right now. I take a look at this, CNN now projects that Joe Biden will win the state of Connecticut. He beats Trump in Connecticut. He wins Connecticut seven electoral votes. Trump, on the other hand, wins South Dakota. He beats Biden in South Dakota, three electoral votes in South Dakota. Trump is the winner there. Let's take a look at the electoral college map where it stands right now. Biden has 80 electo electoral college votes. Trump has 51. You need 270 to be elected president of the United States. Uh, let's uh, go back to John King. John, I'm really anxious to take a look at Georgia right now, see where things stand. Right now, CNN projects that Joe Biden uh, will win the uh, state of Colorado, will win its nine electoral votes. He beats, he beats uh, Trump in Colorado. Trump, on the other hand, wins in North Dakota. CNN projects Trump will win in North Dakota, pick up its three electoral votes. Trump is the winner in North Dakota. Here's the Electoral College map where it stands right now as a result of these projections. Biden is up to 89 Electoral College votes. Trump has 54, 270 needed to win the presidency. Let's go back to John King. Right now, I take a look at this. CNN now projects that Donald Trump will win the state of South Carolina. He's the winner in South Carolina, will win its nine electoral votes. CNN also projects Donald Trump will win in Alabama. Uh, will win its nine electoral votes in the state of Alabama as well. Here's where the Electoral College map stands right now. It's close. Biden now has 89 Electoral College votes. Trump has 72 Electoral College votes, 270, of course, needed to win the presidency. We're getting deep now. Take a look at this. CNN projects that uh, Joe Biden will win in New Mexico right now. Uh, take a look at that. Uh, Joe Biden wins in New Mexico. Uh, there he is, uh, the winner in New Mexico. Uh, that's five electoral votes in New Mexico. So let's see where the electoral college map stands right now. Right now, with that win in New Mexico, Biden has 94 electoral votes. Trump has 72 electoral votes. The all-important race to 270 needed to win, 94 to 72 right now. 270 being the magic number. Uh, we have some more projections right now. Let's check in New Hampshire. CNN projects that Joe Biden will win the state of New Hampshire, will win its four electoral votes. Biden wins in New Hampshire. There are several states now where CNN projects that Trump is winning four states specifically. CNN projects that Trump will win in Louisiana. He beats Biden in Louisiana, wins eight electoral votes in Louisiana. CNN projects that Donald Trump will win in Kansas, beats Biden in Kansas, six electoral votes there. Another six electoral votes in Utah. Trump wins in Utah. That's the CNN projection. Uh, and another five electoral votes in Nebraska. Uh, three out of the five, excuse me, three out of the five electoral votes in Nebraska. Two of them uh, are still based on a congressional district. Three out of five in Nebraska. So there, here's where the, the, the electoral college map stands right now. Very, very close. Look at this. Biden has 98 electoral college uh, votes. Uh, Trump has 95. You need 270 to win the presidency, 98 to 95. Look up. Uh, let's take a look at this. CNN projects that uh, Joe Biden will win the state of Illinois, will win 20 electoral votes in the state of Illinois, beats uh, Trump in Illinois. Trump beats Biden in Missouri, 10 electoral votes in Missouri. Uh, Trump wins in Missouri. Let's take a look at the electoral college map right now. Uh, and here's where it stands on, on the road to 270 needed to win. Biden now has 118. Trump has 105. 118 to 105, 270, the magic number. The president, let's take this out. All right, we have some projections right now. CNN projects that Bill Biden will win the state of California. That's the biggest prize of the Electoral College. 55 electoral votes. Biden will win California, beats Trump in California. CNN also projects that Biden will win in Washington State. 12 electoral votes, he beats Trump in Washington State. CNN also projects Biden will win in the state of Oregon. Seven electoral votes there. Biden wins in Oregon right now. Uh, one uh, projection for Donald Trump right now. CNN projects that Donald Trump will win the state of Wyoming. That's three electoral votes. In Idaho, too early to call. Four electoral votes in Idaho. We cannot make a projection there. Let's take a look at the electoral college map. See where it stands right now. Right now, Biden has a wide lead. He has 192 electoral college votes. Trump has 108, 192 to 108. Let's get a key. CNN projects that uh, President Trump will win the state of Mississippi, beats Biden in Mississippi.
Mississippi with six electoral votes in Mississippi. Let's take a look at the Electoral College map right now. Uh, so with that, Biden still has 192 elect Electoral College votes. Trump now has 114 electoral, electoral College See, that projects that uh, Joe Biden is the winner in Virginia. Virginia goes for Biden. Biden beats Trump in the Commonwealth of Virginia. 13 electoral votes uh, go to Biden. Take a look at the electoral uh, college map count. Right now, Biden has crossed 200. He has 205 electoral college votes right now. Trump has 114. 207 President Trump will win the state of Ohio. Beats Biden in Ohio. 18 electoral votes in Ohio. That's a big, big, big win for Donald Trump in the state of Ohio. Let's take a look at the electoral college map where it stands right now. Uh, with that, uh, Biden has still has 205. Trump has 132. 270 needed to win the presidency. Biden still had 205, 132. We're watching this very closely. Let's get a key race alert. CNN projects that uh, President Trump will win the state of Idaho. Trump beats Biden in Idaho, wins four electoral votes in Idaho. Let's take a look at the electoral college map where it stands right now with that win. Trump now has 136 electoral college votes. Biden has 205, 270. That's the magic number you need to win the presidency. Let's get a key race alert. CNN projects that Joe Biden will win the state of Minnesota. Biden beats Trump in Minnesota, wins 10 electoral votes in the state of Minnesota. Let's take a look at the electoral college map right now. With that win in Minnesota, Biden now has 215 electoral college votes. Trump has 136, 270, of course, being the number you need to win the presidency. Let's get a key now. CNN projects that uh, President Trump will win the state of Florida. A big win for President Trump in Florida. 29 electoral votes go to Donald Trump over Biden. Uh, that's a big win. Take a look at where things stand uh, right now in the race to 270 needed to win. Biden still has 215 electoral college votes. Trump now has 165 elector electoral college votes. He just won Florida. That's a big, big win uh, for the uh, president of the United States. Democrats were hoping there could be some sort of upset in Florida right now. CN projects that President Trump will win the state of Iowa. He beats uh, Biden in Iowa. Six electoral votes in Iowa. Trump wins Iowa. Let's take a look at where the electoral college map stands right now. Biden still has 215 electoral college votes. Trump now has 171, getting closer. 270 needed to win. We have a key rate. CNN projects that Joe Biden will win the state of Rhode Island. Rhode Island goes to Biden with four electoral votes. Took a while, but Rhode Island wins now on the road to 270 needed to win. Biden now has 219. Trump has 171 with that win in Rhode Island. I believe you went to college someplace in Rhode Island. Next, that President Trump will win the state of Texas. He beats Biden in Texas. He wins 38. That's a big number. 38 electoral votes. Here's where... The electoral map stands right now. Biden now has 219. Trump has 209. You need 270 uh, to be president of the United States. 219 to 209. John, uh, Texas, a big win for President Trump. Texas is a big win. I'm not sure what I'm missing on this. The second congressional district, one electoral vote. See, and I project Joe Biden will win that second congressional district in Nebraska. Uh, the last time that happened was in 2008 uh, for a Democrat. One electoral vote. Uh, that uh, Biden will win in that second congressional district in Nebraska. The other four uh, out of five electoral votes of Nebraska, Donald Trump, the president, will win. He will win four electoral votes uh, out of Nebraska. Joe Biden will win one. Let's take a look at the electoral college map where it stands right now. Look at how close it is. Biden now has 220 electoral votes. Trump has 210 electoral votes, 270, of course, the CNN projects President Trump will win the state of Montana. Beats Biden in Montana. Three electoral votes in Montana. Trump wins in Montana. Let's take a look at the uh, map right now. 270 needed to win. Biden right now has 220. We projected Trump has 213. 270 once again the key number. Let's get a key race alert. Where are things?